Starting for the final result, this is the output of GNSSSGR processing uh, the stream of data coming from Max 2771 in a clone of the SDR from Tomoji Takasu and with a proper location and the uh, time information from the GPS L1 constellation. All information are provided on this GitHub, including schematic, board and configuration file. So let's see how we configure the software to achieve such a result. We're going to need quite a few few terminals so we run screen to have multiple terminals on the host computer and the first thing we're going to do is communicate between the uh, acquisition peripheral and the processing software using a name pipe or a first input first output FIFO and this name pipe needs to be accessed by the super user so we create this as a rule. Then we're going to use pocket SDR configuration files and we're slightly modified one of the configuration to configure both channels as GPS L1 sampling at 8 MHz sampling rate uh, with an intermediate frequency of 2 MHz, hence the frequency offset with respect to the nominal GPS L1. We use in the application directory of Pocket SDR the Pocket uh, uh, configuration, Pocket Conf, as a super user because we need to access the USB peripheral. And we provide the configuration file as argument to uh, send the configuration to the chip. We can check without argument that the configuration was properly uh, applied and indeed we do see that the, the max 2771 was configured with the right center frequency, sampling rate and intermediate frequency. Now we need to get rid of this intermediate frequency and rather than using the GNSSSGR capability we are going to use an external new radio tool with the uh, FIFO as an input file then running for a frequency translating fear filter with a 2 MHz frequency offset and decimating to get rid of the unwanted spectrum uh, components and finally we stream the result on a 0MQ output. So now that we have the uh, capability of collecting the data and, uh, and frequency transposition of the intermediate frequency, we are going to run the uh, GNSSSGR signal processing to uh, output the position and look timing information from the GPSL1. All information can be found on the GitHub with the first file which is the headless uh, Python script uh, GNU Radio from GNU Radio and the third one from top is the GNSSSGR uh, configuration file. So let's get started. We see here that this is the GNU Radio companion generated flow graph with uh, uh, 0MQ, the frequency translating field filter and the block uh, file input from uh, the FIFO and we run this as a Python script. Now, uh, once we start streaming data from uh, GNU Radio, we need to input something and the input is generated by the pocket dump from G uh, pocket SDR. Pocket dump will output the stream on two files, ch first uh, chip, second chip. The first one will go to the FIFO, the second one will be uh, thrown away on DevNull. And we see that the sampling rate is indeed 8 megasampler per second as we configured in the configuration file. So finally, now we need to process the data using uh, GNSSSDR. So we run GNSSSDR with a 0MQ configuration, which can be seen here with a sampling rate of 2 megasampler per second after decimation. We collect the data on port 5555 on the local host and we're going to process GPS L1 course average uh, information. We need to uh, expand a little bit the uh, frequency range uh, with respect to the nominal 5 kHz because uh, we need to account for the frequency offset of the local oscillator, so we set the Doppler maximum to free, uh, 30 kHz rather than 5, with a Doppler frequency step of 200 Hz, which is smaller than the 1 uh, millisecond inverse of the uh, chip rate. So when you run uh, GSSSDR, you have first have track information, which is not very interesting because this just means that it assigns some uh, space vehicle to some channel. But what's really interesting is that when you get the bit synchronization, 
it means a real data has been collected and the synchronization is quickly translated into a navigation message that was received so that's for satellite number 11 and we got another two satellites that got locked so these are real signals that we uh, are receiving now which are properly decoded as navigation messages now at the moment we have three satellites and three satellites is not enough to solve the four unknowns which are the position XYZ and the time information, time offset of the local oscillator with respect to the space vehicle. So now we have a fourth channel and the fourth channel should allow us to solve the uh, equation PVT, position, velocity and time. Now, I will not hide from you, uh, there will be a time shift because I ran this experiment twice. Now we're at 3 minutes 20 seconds and 2 minutes 16 because I ran the experiment a second time. The first time GSSSDR did not want to find a proper PVT solution. Again, we have the same four satellites uh, which are properly tracked and we're just waiting to find the optimal solution for position and timing. If we just wait a little bit more, we see that we have a fifth satellite that is being locked and here is our first position identified by Genesis SDR and repeated every one second. So please try to repeat this at home uh, to max 2771 uh, recording data, streaming through a FIFO and uh, collected data collected by uh, Genesis SDR for a 0MQ stream uh, following frequency transposition by GNU Radio. Thank you.